The Terra 30 Revealed is sponsored by TerraFlex, Academy of Art and Fine Acting. Right now we're deep in the bowels of TerraFlex. Few, if any, have tread these halls. But now, for the first time, we can unveil the secrets of creation. You're so lame. Seriously, we've got this. Chris, Emily and I have some questions about the JK replacement housings. Chris from engineering should be able to answer our questions, and we have some good ones. Wow. So why would anyone want one of these heavy duty housings? Well, you've already spent all the money on gear, shafts, and a locker, and then you've bent your 30 housing out on the trail, so you can take it all out and put it in something stronger that won't bend, or you can transfer it all over into another factory 30 housing and just go bend it again. That's cool. I want one. Hmm. Um... That looks strong. Are they? Yeah. Um... Uh, Chris, maybe you could tell us about TerraFlex's axle bracket construction. That's exactly what I asked. So, uh, what are these brackets thicknesses? The brackets thicknesses are quarter inch, and they're laser cut, bent, and welded to the housing. And they're way stronger than the thin gauge bracket on the factory housing. I like how it says TerraFlex. How did they do that? The lettering is cast into the 3 8 inch thick ductile iron diff cover that is included with the housing. It's then powder coated and the lettering is hand painted with love. So uh, where would the tires hook to this axle? Hard hitting question Emily. Maybe we could just ask Chris what the benefits of these inner seas are. Back off. I just asked him that. So Chris, tell us about these seas. The inner seas are forged and pressed on to the axle tube. And they're reinforced in areas where the factory sea likes to bend through here. And you can really see the difference here, how much extra material there is on the Terra Sea compared to the factory sea, and that's what really gives you the added strength. Valuable information, Chris. Do parts really go in here? Wow. So Chris, maybe we could ask you, what kind of lockers or carriers will this axle accept? Didn't you just hear me ask him that? Gosh, no. Gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize for Dennis. So what, what kind of parts go in these lockers? We have a TerraFlex 44 housing that will accept a Rubicon locker and a 44 housing that will accept any aftermarket locker. And the 30 housing will accept any aftermarket locker you want to put in it from ARB, Eaton, Detroit, and so on. I like ARES. They are strong. That's ARB. Shut up! My dad will beat you so bad that you will be eating through a tube. Are they strong? Yeah. This is quarter wall, three and a quarter inch DOM. And we've eliminated the common failure points that you see on the factory housings. Right here with the larger tubing in this bracket, you're not going to see it break there anymore. And also right here you can see how we've extended the housing a couple of inches in order to reduce the length of the moment arm right here so this isn't going to bend or break right here. And we've also cast ribs into the housing here in order to increase strength and prevent bending. There's also a control arm mount cast into the top of the housing here that receives a factory bushing. We've got the breather in the factory location here and we've also added a threaded hole here for anybody who wants to run an airline for an air locker and the drain plug remains in the factory location. I had no idea. How, how do they make it look so shiny? And it looks great with the hand-painted letters. That shiny coating you see is a triple stage powder coat that is highly UV resistant and stands up well to the elements. You're not the only one that paints them. I paint them too. Well, I paint them with love. Gosh, you guys. Just take care. Oh, well, at least I'm not. You know, Chris, I want to just thank you for uh, taking a few minutes to come down and answer some questions from our very professional, hard hitting investigative team. Let's get you back up to engineering. You know, it's a right to work state. What are we going to do?